Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the Ikna Da'wa Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Jazak, uh, Jazak sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we threw this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make a dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have they're already very aware of uh, but for our audience it's pretty simple it's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem um we let them know when to begin it begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah the second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference so it's a very general theme you know they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about islam in a time of confusion you can talk about that way, you can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be 
better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poet. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of more things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't, it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well and next we will have brother levon brown um join us please Oh, you're on mute. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, brother? Bi khair, alhamdulillah, I'm okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so, brother Levan, your name sounds very familiar. I feel like I have heard of you before. <laughs> Is that yeah. correct? A couple of years ago, we were in a poetry slam uh, together. It was a couple of years ago, though. Yeah. Was it the lyrical art poetry competition hosted yes. by Buna Muhammad and Amar Al Shukri? Yes, it was. Oh wow! Subhanallah! Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, you know that was like maybe nine years ago, right? Yes. 
Yes, subhanAllah. That that was just, um, oh my gosh, almost a decade ago. But Alhamdulillah, you are still writing as well, which is amazing. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your professional career as a poet and what you do. Alhamdulillah, professionally, I'm a drug safety associate. I work in pharmacovigilance, um, but I, I'm a student of of Islam. So uh, I've been working on a book of poetry, uh, just writing poetry about fiqh and uh, just getting oriented with Islam in a, in a rhythmic way, inshallah. So uh, that, that brings me to this poem. This poem, you know, in relation to the topic, is about the Muslim getting oriented with his surroundings and with all of the other signs and creations of Allah that are worshiping Allah right next to him and they don't even know. So, Perfect, excellent. And this is a poem that you will also be putting in your collection for your book, inshallah? Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. So if anyone really likes this poem, they can actually purchase your book, inshallah. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so without any further ado, we'd love to hear your poem. The sun, stars, and moon, signs get you entombed with their automated orbit shows time before the swoon. Pay attention to the shadow as it moves in a battle with the sun stops and takes inventory of the one to remind you and co-signs you as it starts to remember in your heart as you stand for the prayer. Then elongates to see you face to face or double that so that you can double back for the sun disappears. Its loss is a sign. Let's see if we define twilight correctly. Let me check horizons in the west. I bet we see a different shade of red, white, and blue. All the colors who fade into black. Don't let the night trouble you. Stars will ascend from directions that we bend and bow, facing east and praying peace to the Lord of the house. As we get into its depths, the night crept. Those who slept, the whole thing lost a step. Lost a step as we rest before death in remembrance of the one who gave breath. Sitting reminiscing with the time we have left and how we've been blessed. Then our eyes take the skies for the light in the farthest east. Disregarded if it parts and turns into a darker piece. But after that, the light will come back to stay. And that's when we pray. God is the greatest. Wow. Yeah, brother, I like as well as your content, I love your delivery, your style, your internal rhythm and the poetic devices that you use. It, I don't want to say it's like rap in any way, because I think spoken word, as you probably already know, has a very unique flavor to it. And I, I just loved like your your rhythm, you know, it, it's not not like, um, you know, a constant uh, a rhythm going on, but it, but it's very beautiful and very pleasant to hear as well as you know the message that you're giving so correct me if i'm wrong you are talking about the the day of judgment is that correct or discussing aspects of that i'm actually talking about uh the muslim orienting their day with their prayers so with mm. every with every uh portion of the prayer i'm actually highlighting the times, the, the times that uh, Lord, starting with Lord comes in, when it comes in, when Asr comes in, when Margaret comes in, when Aisha comes in, and lastly, when Fajr comes in. So this poem, it, it shows the Muslim that as long as they pay attention to the signs of Allah, they'll always be grounded. And this is also a good poem and check because you know it teaches you the, the times of prayer. So. Yeah, so to, uh, come on. Deep. That was so deep. And I like the fact that you mentioned the prayers, brother, as well, because I feel like uh, a lot of people underestimate that it can give you clarity of vision and um, strength in faith. You know, some people put it down to like the physical movement and a very ritualistic act, but it's really much more than that. It's there to keep you steadfast and grounded. And I think that it's, it's very powerful that you mentioned it. So Jazakallah khair for that. Thank you so much. And also, um, I just uh, just finally just put the final say as well. Um, with the um, with a poem, I noticed that the actual prayer it was compared a lot to um, the nature, and it was very um, there was a lot of comparisons I noticed with the sun, for example, and um, the the fact that 
things in nature don't have a will they they just do they and one of the things that they do is worship Allah so the fact that we're praying is something that comes naturally is nature it is part of our nature so um I saw how you aligned that uh, together as well and alhamdulillah it was very um I hope I pray that you know uh people were able to take some benefit from that and realize the importance of prayer. Amen. Amen. Jazakallah khair. Thank you. Actually, going to be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performance set. So, jazakallah khair to everyone from the bottom of our heart, as the strangers, as your sisters in Islam, and as your fellow poets. We know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank ICNA for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add anything to that? Um, yes, subhanAllah. You know, I did not expect um, the schools to be so close together. And it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point. And um, subhanAllah, like it's, you were every single one of our poets, um, your contribution, it, you know, this whole kind of uh, label of winner here, winner there. Um, my sister and I, we do personally dislike it, but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners, and I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your, your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, khair so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work again, we will um, post more information on our website and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So jazakallah uh, again for watching to all of our performers for ICNA for hosting and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.